afternoon baseball here on the show. Today we've got a good matchup ahead between the Arizona Diamondbacks and the St. Louis Cardinals. Digging in next will be Starling Marte, and we are ready for some daytime baseball. And he fouls this one off. The one two. Ball. We'll be in the 80s later this Ball. afternoon, but for now, 79 degrees at first pitch. And a three and two full count to Starling Marte. Hit high in the air down the right field line. In there, a base hit. Throw over to the bag. Runner back standing. Standing in now, Nick Ahmed. Now a ball grounded to short. This could be two. There's one. Relay to Goldie, and that gets him as well a double play. Now in the box, Patel Marte. He had a couple of hits in yesterday's contest. A 1-1. Pulled toward right center field. Thomas makes the catch, and the inning is over. Here's the second baseman, Colton Wong. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Into his motion. Here comes the three and one. Hit hard to the right side but foul fastball called strike three and there's the first out of the inning so striding forward now Tommy Edmond lifetime numbers against Robbie Ray he's hitless in three at bats I'll straighten him up there on that fastball it's one and two now And it's two balls and two strikes now. He's up in the zone a lot right now. Sometimes that can be effective, but I think you have to be careful with that, especially during a day game where the ball tends to carry a lot more. And this will kick off the fence now up against the Cardinal bullpen. The relay throw, but he is in there with a triple. Down four, the first baseman, Paul Goldsmith. Stepping in now, Paul Goldschmidt. Swung on and hit deep to left center. This one has a chance. And it's gone. In now, Matt Carpenter. And here's a pitch swung on and missed one and two now. That misses and we're even at two and two. Still only one out in the inning. And here's a curveball that just about got away as it misses inside for a ball. Waiting on deck, there's Yadi Molina. Pulled high in the air out to right field. Marte's after it. He's got it. A nice play there. Two away. Coming to the plate now, Yadier Molina, and he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. Sent on the ground out to second. Reined in. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. Now at the plate, David Peralta. And he's carrying a batting average of just over 300. So clearly he's been a productive player with the bat in his hand so far. Hey, we're still in the early okay. stages in this one. They're only down by a couple of runs. But it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. This is pulled into right. 
But this is right at him in right field as he hardly has to move to take it in for the first down. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And that'll bring up Eduardo Escobar. Hit the target, but this is low, two and one. To two and two now. You know, from a hitter's perspective, you get pounded in, and then he throws a nasty changeup away. Is the mindset to tell yourself that he's going to go in and out all day long, or is he going to double up? That's the cat and mouse we're seeing right now. He takes strike three called on the fastball. Couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. That is good. Up next for Arizona, Christian Walker. And you see the numbers there. He's been very dangerous at the plate, to say the least. Rounded weakly down the line toward third. But a foul ball. One and two the count now. Maybe trying to back him up a bit there with the fastball. This is line to left. That gets down, and the inning continues. Two out success, and Steven Vogt will bat next. At the plate, Steven Vogt pulled toward right center field. Long run for the right fielder. He tracks it down, and that will end the inning. Now at the play, Tyler O'Neill hoping to stay hot. He had a couple of hits, including a home run yesterday. One of the keys to securing a win, they want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. The one-two. Ball, go. Two ball, two strike. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Peralta is under it, looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. The next to bat for St. Louis, Lane Thomas. He comes in after a day of rest yesterday, so we'll see if it did him any good. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. Legs churning. He's headed for second. And he's not stopping. He wants three. The relay, but he is in there with a triple. At the plate now, Harrison Bader. Clearly off with his timing on that one, a swinging strike. And a half-hearted attempt that time, but they'll say he broke the plane, and that's out number two. So in now is the Cardinals pitcher, number 62, runner in scoring position with two gone. A 1-1. No. No. Two and two. Even though it's early on in this one, anytime you get runners in scoring position, you'd like to knock them in. Now a flare out toward right center. In comes the center fielder. He can't get there, so the inning will continue. And the runner from third crosses the plate. It's a three-nothing game. Now that the second baseman. Touchdown. Into the box now. Colton Wall. Counts even at two and two to Wong. Tough curveball that time, but he's able to make a little contact to keep this at bat going. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Fouled away. in the air down the line in left and that will end up a foul ball ready with the two and two lifted the other way out to left center Marte is there and he'll make the catch to retire the side Now batting, Hildemaro Vargas. He was hitless in yesterday's shutout loss, as were many of his teammates. The 2-2. Two -two. 
You can bet they love ball four here. That gives the pitcher on deck an obvious bunt situation to move the runner into scoring position. Fouled off. That's lifted the other way out to left. O'Neill waits on it. One away. Standing in, Robbie Ray. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Robbie Ray. And there's ball two now. Two one. Little chopper back to the mound. Throw on to first, two gone. So bases are empty here with two gone, and that'll bring up Starling Marte. Just off the inside corner, taken for a ball. Nick Ahmed would be next. Drill down the line. And he tries for the backhand reach at third, but he gets by the glove down the line. The bat, number 13, shortstop, Nick Ahmed. Standing in now, Nick Ahmed. Line drive to left. O'Neill is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. Into the box, Tommy Edmond. He scored after tripling in his first plate appearance. What's he got in store for us here? Hopefully that triple is the kick he needed to get him out of this slump. Got to feel real good to hit one hard and be able to run like that. And that'll get down for a base hit. The bat. The first base to the plate Paul. now, Paul Goldschmidt. Goldschmidt. No contact Goldschmidt. there, and it's one and two. To two balls and two strikes now. That's a good take on a fastball out of the zone. Hey, I get it. He's looking for a ball to drive, but that ball was a little bit too far up in the zone. That's one you normally pop right up. And a full count to Paul Goldschmidt. Three balls and two strikes. Little tardy on that swing as it's well wide of first. The 3 2, one more time. And that misses for ball four. And it's first and second now with nobody out. The third baseman, Here's Matt Carpenter. Matt Carpenter. And that's high for a ball. It's two and two. And it's fouled away. And there's ball three on a breaking ball that misses away. Great game plan so far by this offense. They're not chasing any of those breaking balls out of the zone. Swing and a miss as he ran the fastball right by him for the first down. Number four. Yadier. Lofted in the air out toward right center. After it is Marte. He's got it. A nice play there. Two away. Ready for another chance? Tyler O'Neill. He flew out in his last at bat. Tyler O'Neill. 3 2 pitch. Here's a ground ball for Ahmed at short. On the first, and the Redbird rally goes for naught as that ends the inning. Striding in, Cattell Marte. He's 0 for 1 thus far. 1-1. He's looked at for ball number 2. This guy's been throwing the ball great so far, but it's going to be tested here. 4, 5, and 6 coming up this part no, of the lineup. The ball. Three balls, Too one low. strike to Cattell Marte. Now here's the pitch. And he lays oh, off oh. there, ball 4. So the leadoff man is on here to begin stanza number 4. Now that is. Next will be the cleanup hitter, David Peralta. Hit it hard, but lined out in his first at-bat. 
Yeah, Matty, but as he walks to the plate right here, he feels good building off that last A.B. He hit that ball on the screws. The one-two. Sent in the air out to straightaway central. Thomas has it for route number one. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Eduardo Escobar. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, always frustrating to go down looking. Everybody does it, though. You'll have a few ABs where you get completely fooled. Look for him to be on the attack early in the setback. The one-two. Marte, the runner at first with one gone in the inning. And another foul ball. Working for the punch out and the offering. He pops him up toward the left side of the infield. Carpenter has to shade his eyes from the sun, but he stays with it for round number two. Now that at the plate, Christian the Walker. Feet. He singled his last time up. Walker. The 2 2. Popped up. Goldschmidt has a play. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Trying to pick things up where he left off. Lane Thomas. He smacked a triple and later scored his first time around. And that's three taken ball, high ball. for a ball that's full now. Three and two. Harrison Bader, the number eight hitter here, waits on deck. This is in the air out to straightaway center. Marte is there and he has it for the first out. One man right gone for the Cardinals in the fourth. And in to bat next, one of the fastest players in all of baseball, Harrison Bader. And a slider runs in on him as he has to lean out of the way. And that's in there on the hands. Three and two now. Now the payoff pitch home. is swung on and missed strike three. Stepping in for the Cardinals, number 62, looking to follow up the RBI single from his first at bat. The 1 1 home. Popped up. And it'll wind up hanging just long enough for him to run it down, and with that, the side is retired. New inning set to get underway. Into the box now. Steven Vogt flied out in his first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. Struck him out. Digging in the switch hitter, Ildemaro Vargas. So the far, 0 for 1 with a fly out. Ildemaro Vargas. And he struck him out as well, so the bottom of the order providing little resistance here, and there are two away. The so here now is the pitcher, Robbie Ray. First two men in the inning have both gone down via the punch out, so we'll see if he can fare any better. Two balls and a strike now. Into the windup, here's the two and one pitch. Hit hard down the line. And he tries for the backhand reach at third, but he gets by the glove down the line. Throw into second. The tag, and they'll get him at second. And with that, the side is retired. Into the box, Colton Wong. And that misses ball four now. It's a leadoff walk to get the home half of the fifth underway. Digging in once again, Tommy Edmond. Two hits and two trips for him thus far. The 1 1 home misses for the second ball. Sometimes you got to be aggressive offensively, but sometimes you just let the pitcher dig his own grave. 
patience and discipline seem to be the way to go right here. On the ground to third. One there. On to first. And they get them both. So bases are empty here with two gone. That'll bring up the big bat of Paul Goldschmidt. Three runs, five hits, and no errors so far for the Redbirds. Grounded down the third baseline. And the off-balance throw is right there for the third out. And a high degree of difficulty on that one as the side is retired. All set for the start of the inning. Ready for another shot now. Starling Marte. The 1-2 is laid off for ball two. Now a ball lying toward the gap in left center. O'Neill will range to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the first down. Striding in once again, Nick Ahmed. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Swung on, and this ball is hammered. Forget about it. And gone. An absolute bomb. John Gant will come on in relief here and appear in game number 25 on the year so far. Stepping in now, Cattell Marte. And he misses ball four. So he comes out of the bullpen and immediately walks the first man he faces. So a runner at first now with one away. And up next, the outfielder, David Peralta. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Hot shot down the line. Hits are even right now at five aside. Fastball, strike three called as he couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. The third thing, five. Stepping up to the plate, Eduardo Escobar. Over two for him to this point. And he fouls this one off. And the inning goes away in unceremonious fashion on a swing and a miss at a ball way outside the strike zone. Mike Leake enters to do the pitching in the bottom of the sixth. Now pitching for the Diamondbacks. Number eight. My digging in now will be Matt Carpenter. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. I think he's forgotten about sometimes Matt Carpenter when we talk about the best hitters in our sport. I think he's one of the more underrated offensive players. Good pitch there on the inside black called the strike. And that's going to be high two and two now. That's a good pitch to lay off right there with that cutter inside. And that is a real tough pitch for hitters to lay off of. And a lot of times if you do swing at that cutter in you're going to end up with some firewood in a broken bat and a check swing here but the bat clearly breaks the plane as he set down for the first out number four. digging in Yadier Molina he's bounced out and flown out in his first two plate appearances to short and there's out number two So two gone now in the St. Louis half of the sixth. And in the bat next will be Tyler O'Neill. And he misses two and one. Leak has tossed over 30 innings so far this season. And when you look at his whip over those innings, it's not a particularly pretty number. Over one point. Well, the play's been made, and that retires the side. John Brebbia is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Number 15. John. Seventh inning ready to roll. Now at the plate, Christian Walker. He was retired after popping out in his last at bat. Yeah, I don't mind him trying to drive the ball in the air, but he can't collapse the backside, and that's exactly what he did in his last at bat. Look for him to stay a little taller and keep that upper half a little bit more over him. Coming to the plate now, Stephen Vogt, who has sat down on strikes in his last at-bat. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. 
and we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this AB. And that's the second out. Stepping into the box, Hildemaro Vargas. He flew out his first time around and then was a strikeout victim most recently. Now the one and one pitch. Is a fastball taken high for a ball. You know, over the course of a full season, you're going to have some clunkers, and this certainly looks like one. By the look on the manager's face, he's going to probably call a meeting after this. The 3 1. Fly ball right down the line and left. Left fielder is on the move. He gets there to make the play, and that ends the inning. Digging in now, Lane Thomas. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. A 1 1. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. Marte will slide over and put this one away, and that's out number one. One gone for the Redbirds in the seventh, and into bat next, one of the fastest players in all of baseball, Harrison Bader. The 2 1. Now a ball fouled down the right field line out of play, so that'll move the count to 2 and 2 now. Here's the pitch. We're in the seventh inning with a good finish brewing 3 to 1 our score. Ball 3. 3 and 2 now. Hit on the ground to short. And an off-balance throw is in time as he takes one away. Wow. Jairo Munoz will get the call to pinch hit here as we'll see what he can do with two out and the base is empty. Hit on the ground out to short. Ahmed has it. And that will conclude matters here in the seventh. Jordan Hicks has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Domingo Leva is going to be asked to get things going here as a lead off the top of the eighth. Sinker misses that time and it's two and one. Two balls, one strike. Line towards center field. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. So it's a good start to the inning for the Diamondbacks. Lead-off hitters aboard. The right field, the field. Marte. So now to the plate, Starling Marte. Helping him out here as he swings and misses to fall behind the ball in two strikes. And a good sinker there gets him swinging for the first out. So a runner at first now with one away, and that means that Nick Ahmed will be the next to bat. Goes to show you how strong this guy is. That wasn't a bad breaking ball that he hit for a home run and it last at bat. That ball was down in a way. He went out and hooked it and pulled it. This guy's definitely a good hitter. And a swing and a miss as they got him with the slider there, two away. So it's a runner at first with two men out, and that'll bring up the infielder, Cattell Marte. Look into Molina now. The one-one. Two-one. Line toward right center. That's his first base hit, making one for two now. And that runner will go no further than second, as there are two aboard now. Now back. New pitcher to tell you about, and it's a guy drafted number six overall out of North Carolina in 2006, the six foot six inch lefty Andrew Miller. In now, David Peralta. And this is low, ball two, two and one. Three and one to the Diamondbacks left fielder. Well, this is the matchup they wanted bringing in the reliever, but falling behind 2-0 doesn't exactly help the situation very much. 
And he misses ball four. So he comes out of the bullpen and immediately walks the first man he faces. Here's the 3 1 to first. Taken in by Goldschmidt. And he'll take it to the bag himself. And a great job of pitching out of the bases loaded situation as the side is retired. Stefan Crichton is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 58. Colton Wong will stand in. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ballgame. He's set and the 2 1 pitch. Smoked on the ground up the middle. And that's a base hit. So a chance for some important insurance here to kick off the bottom of the eighth. Now batter, Tommy Edmund. At the plate, Tommy Edmund. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and that's the first out. Striding into the box, Paul Goldschmidt. He launched one over the wall back in the opening frame. That's on the corner to put him behind now. One and two. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. So now it'll be the four-hole hitter, Matt Carpenter. He could really use a knock here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. The 1-1 home. Him. And he goes down on strikes for the third time. Ryan Helsley comes on from the pen, hoping to finish this one off here in the top of the ninth. Number 52. Ready once again, Christian Walker. And you may notice the usual closer is not in the game here with the save opportunity on the table. Yeah, he's worked a few days in a row, Matt. So we were told before the game by the skipper he wanted to avoid using him if possible. So that means they will look to close this thing out without him. Now back. Stephen. Standing Vogt. in now, Stephen Vogt. No. And he lays off for a ball, two and one. Pretty good pitch right there. Fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. Skied into straightaway right. Long run for the right fielder. He gets there and makes the play for the first out. Riding in to the Morrow Vargas. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Runners on first with one down. Two balls and a strike. Sometimes it can be difficult for a pitcher. You're facing a guy that's not known to be a big stick in the lineup. Sometimes the toughest thing is to be aggressive and throw strikes. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Thomas is there to take it, and that's the second out of the inning. Cole Calhoun will be called upon here to hit with the game on the line. Number 55, Cole Calhoun. Crowd of over 39,000 on their feet. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. Arizona down to its last strike. Oh. Two and two, the count to Cole Calhoun. Swung on, but fouled off to the left. Making him sweat out there. The seventh pitch coming up. Trying to nibble here, and he misses to run it full now. Three and two. Great take right there, but the last thing you want to do is be called out on strikes to end the game. Fielded cleanly. Throw to first will be in time to record the final out. And the Cardinals have claimed the fourth consecutive victory here 
as this ball game is over. Well, just an excellent job right here closing this one out. He just collected the first save of his career. Got to start somewhere. Three to one the final score this afternoon. The Cardinals jumped out to an early lead in the first and never looked back. Number 62 earns his sixth winning decision in this one. Ryan Helsley wraps it up for the save, his first of the year. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Pleszak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. Here this afternoon, and we remind you to please drive home safely.